I don't know if I should be upset or happy that rock hounding and lapidary has gotten so popular that people are trying to produce print on demand scam books, promote them on Facebook, promote them on other social media platforms and sell them through Amazon. It, it, uh, it, it's super ma it's massively frustrating. What can I say? I don't like it. I'm going to prove today that these are in fact print on demand scams. Now, if you don't know what that is, basically you can go over to Wikipedia, uh, pick a subject. Let's just pick in this case, rock hounding, lapidary rocks, minerals, go take a bunch of uh, Wikipedia pages, drag them over into a PDF document and submit them as a book with some low quality cover art uh, on Amazon print on demand services and sell them as a book. Now, that is one way that you could do that, and that's what I think is kind of happening here. But also, there's like side hustle courses that already offer these low effort books that you can just have and you can use to kind of scam people because it's not a real book. And uh, that's, the, that's, the, that's the basics of these things. And it's extremely uh, disappointing for me to see as somebody who loves learning about rocks, minerals, lapidary, mineralogy, you name it. I've built an extensive library and uh, I have it all fully documented up on my website. ISBN, so you can go find them at the library. These are good books. And uh, it, <laughs> it, it, man, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Well, let's head up into the office. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, geez, I've, we might just have to buy a couple of these things to prove how bad they really are. So if you head over to Amazon and we head over and uh, look for one of these books. You can start to see these things pop up. Now, uh, you'll notice right away that we have some things in common here. We have some things in common. These borders are all the same. Okay, it looks like a similar border with a bunch of different clip art of different rocks and hammers and paintbrushes and a compass. Like, what is going on here? How, how do we have three different books, three different authors, including Lars, which Lars uh, has authored real books. I think he's just trying to get in on making some money here. But, but yeah, I mean, Rock Hound Bible, 10 and 1. Rock Hound Bible, 10 and 1. Rock hounding for beginners. Um, and we can kind of just look, here's another rock hound Bible, 10 and 1, full color edition. You know, uh, look, see, okay, so there's that shovel, that little hand trowel right here. We'll look at these in a new tab. And where did I see it? Wasn't there one up here with a hand trowel? Here's a hand trowel. So just looking at these, we can see that there's a lot of similarities and just how they're designed, how they're laid out, like it it looks it looks pretty bad. It looks pretty bad. This usage of bold and uh, normal text with you know italics is just it doesn't seem legit to me. It doesn't seem legit at all. And if we start to really dig into it, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Now. Nobody that is actually into the hobby would ever say something like this. Everything you need to know about one of the oldest forms of collecting, like that is so generic. That's so generic. Like let yourself be seduced by the fascinating world of rock collecting and learn where to search for and how to extract them to increase your personal collection. It's just, it. discover a new hobby that can help you make a lot of money. These are scam books. And if we look at the author, we'll just take this guy here, this guy, Jason, which uh, I think this is a total, total scam, total scam. Let's read this guy's full bio here. Jason is an ex ranger and paratrooper from Kansas with 25 years of military experience. And it goes on to talk about like oh, how amazing he is, like suburban self-defense books and just all this it's all junk. Now, this picture really does not look 
like the picture of like an author. Like this is not somebody to trust. Now, if we take take that one and go over to Google Images, we can actually search by the image. So we'll do just that. And we will attempt to find the source of this. So we can find the source image. And all obviously the top hits here are all Amazon. So we will scroll down. Look, it is a stock photo. It is a stock photo. Look, an adult man is cooking a meal on a fire. Like he just, whoever is running this scam is purchasing stock images, making fake bio, bios to attempt to make themselves sound more legitimate and uh, produce these print on demand scammy scammy books like look at this like they're really um going all in on trying to pull the wool over people's eyes there's just so much of it on here and it's such a disappointment to see you know uh i think really the only way to for sure tell 100 percent if these books are all kind of a scam as well. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to buy some of these. Um, thankfully, I think uh, I can uh, maybe just return them uh, since I don't feel like they are legitimate and they are not actually a 10 in one as much as they wanna say, then I can uh, legitimately return them and be like, well, it was, uh, the product was misrepresented because yeah, like these, are all the friggin same they are all the same look at just how it says with with colored images and where's the other one with colored images there the, it, it's it's a scam all right so let's uh let's get this one and we'll get this one and <sighs> friggin lars okay uh and i guess we'll get that one because it's 12 bucks and is that enough? How many of these stupid books do I need to buy? Ugh, $73. All right, let's buy them and uh, we'll, we'll find out how big of a scam these are. Well, I got these. Also, we are up in the office today. It is cold and snowy. So uh, we'll do it up here. All right, rock hound for beginners. Um, obviously, I need to really uh, read through these. So this is that first one. And I got another package here. Check these guys out. And these are the ones that have a much more... <laughs> These are uh, very much so identical, aren't they? Um, I mean, right away, first impression is like the world's thinnest paper, the biggest font, and ultra low quality images. Now, are they identical? That uh, has yet to be, well, you know what? They are not identical. I have some research to do on these. Already I can say that, uh, <laughs> look at this font size. <laughs> look at that. Could you put less words on a single page? Jeez, that's uh, really, um, really bad. Really bad. They say, uh, okay, so hold on, hold on. Let me, uh, let me do this. Okay, so check this out. Here's book seven and it is two sheets of paper, and then we are on to book eight. I mean, I knew they were going to be bad, but this is like on a whole other, whole other level. Ugh. All right. I have to read these now. That should not, that's not going to be fun, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take one for the team here. <laughs>
I read these three books and it was completely terrible. It was actually worse than what I was expecting and I was expecting it to be rather bad. Now, I will say if I had to give these uh, a rating, let's say between zero and 10 or uh, how about let's do stars. How about uh, five star being the best and no stars being terrible. I would give Lars's book here half of a star and these ones would get zero. No stars. Okay, these are, these three books are, they're, they're, they're garbage. They are, they're, they're garbage and wildly misleading and not something that should be purchased. Let's head over to the bench and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's talk about this here. This is a uh, extremely low effort. And, uh, you know, Lars is a real person unlike these other people who are fake people. <laughs> Although uh, it seems like the same kind of, I don't know, the company that's producing these things are the same perhaps, but this is really just like ultra, ultra low effort. Like the type of stuff that is already in other books. There's nothing new here. There's, uh, it's just, it. it's a bunch of low quality advice on like a shovel, you know, a bucket. Like these are not things that you need to buy a book for, you know? Um, now I know people will probably be like, yeah, but they're for beginners. No, your comprehensive guide. Okay, yes, it is rock hunting for beginners. Your comprehensive guide to finding and collecting precious minerals, gems, geodes, and more. Um, this is so far from uh, being comprehensive. So we just have some basics, right? What to look for in the field, which is, this is very um, not helpful. Not help There's like, I did not read a single thing in here that you couldn't get from looking at Facebook for a couple of hours, you know? Uh, like how to how to clean your finds like some of his uh top uh advice here is warm water and mild soap such as a hand soap or dishwashing soap like it's and then we get into the rocks so the first let's see let's go start there's just basic advice in this portion and then we uh do this part part two here which it's like just look at these look at these photos look at look at look at look at that like <laughs> they're so bad and this is just stuff like ripped from uh mindat maybe wikipedia i'm not exactly sure where he stole all these images from and uh duplicated the info from but this is so not even comprehensive. And so many people are not going to be finding, you know, uh, tourmaline or topaz like that. It's just, it's really bad. It's, it's pretty low effort. I will give him some points for at least uh, organizing it and ripping off information in a somewhat okay way. So that's why he gets that like a half a star, half a star for, for Lars over there. Now, I'm going to show some um, comparisons here in a sec. Let's look at uh, the first rock hounding Bible, okay? The the wording in here, well, first off, I love that they put, uh, like, fake reviews in here. And it's just, it's not even, uh, like, alphabetized. Like, look, 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 look at the content. So, precious gems, right? Like, What? what like this is so <sighs> anyways um this is totally written by ai uh just like the phrasing of things is really bad um we can even just look at the very first kind of like page here and the it is worded in a manner um which no 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 person would uh would write and this book will teach you how to recognize gemstones, minerals, geodes, and fossils, as well as their current and historical applications in various civilizations and societies. Like, what? Like, this is just hot garbage. It is hot garbage. Um, also, nice uh, giant, giant font here. Um, it kind of talks about some of the... There's a lot about metaphysical properties of rocks, which uh, is awful. Um, and 
low quality images, very low quality images. And again, um, these are like, these are stolen. All of this is not info that they wrote in any way whatsoever. You know, um, if we look at <laughs> like chapter five, the rocks, it, it just, it's the most basic stuff, the most basic Wikipedia article. The most valuable rocks to collect, granite. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just, it's so bad. It's so bad. Like you couldn't, you couldn't make this up if you, if you, if you're trying to make something up, you know? Um, I just, I shake my head, especially like in the, the legalities aspect, like, yeah, there's a whole thing about the legalities of rocks in here. And you're like, do not take legal advice from this. D just don't do it. Don't do it. This one, um, if Lars got half a star, this got maybe 0.1 star, and this got absolutely below zero. Below zero. Uh, if we, uh, we, we, we get in here... You can see that um, the, the, the our, our, how our books are organized, right? We can see this. Let's uh, head on over to, how about book six on page 27? All right. How to buy and sell gemstones online to make money. Okay, so let's start this book because we're on book six. Oh, wait, we're on book seven now. <laughs> it It's not even a full... It's not even a full page. It's just back here in, in the back on book nine, uh, the list of famous gems, geodes, minerals, and rocks. Let's, uh, let, let's look at agate here, right? Let's look at agate, okay? Um, well, that photo right there, I recognize that photo. You know why? Because that's the photo from the Wikipedia page. This photo right here. Look, you can see it's with the tennis ball, and here is that picture from the wiki page about agates. Like, this is just all lifted information. Now, in this one, they do have a lot of uh, charts in here showing GPS locations where you could, I guess, go get material. This, I believe, is 100% like cherry-picked off of the Rockhound resource website, which he didn't verify so this is a printed regurgitated version of bad information that has never been verified you know we have uh, a lot of stuff on here that only exists there right like the uh gravels in the little spokane river which is a complete garbage location and something that was originally published in bolton 37 and repeated infinitely um we've talked about that uh here as well when you know, as an example, but yeah, that's where all this comes from. So he's just using Rockhound resource and uh, copying his bad information. So yeah, yeah, these are, um, they are not worth it. These guys here are going to be getting returned to Amazon because they do not match the item description on the website whatsoever. So I can easily return these and get my $80. You're looking at $80 here, which that's like, that, that, that pains me. That pains me. So thankfully I can get my money back out of these. Let's, uh, let's talk. Let me show you some books that you could use as a good resource. That could be a gift, whatever, that are not a scam that you will get them, you'll read them and you'll be like, this is awesome. This is for my fellow Pacific Northwest Rockhounds, but I think it's a good example because you want information that is regional to you, specific to you. Having a book pertaining to you where you're at, whether it be the Pacific Northwest or Florida or you know uh, Arizona, wherever, you want something a little more uh, narrowly focused. And books like this are awesome, right? We have full color, well-written, uh, well-researched, excellent, excellent, excellent books. This guy right here. However, you may not need something like that, or maybe you just want a more general book, a general gift, perhaps. How about some field collecting? This is an amazing book. You want to learn about rock hounding? You want to learn about being out in the field, 
collecting rocks and minerals. This is an old book, but this is gold. This is amazing. This is an amazing book, right? We, it covers everything that you would ever need to know. Doesn't matter if you are brand new and only casually interested in rock counting all the way up to, you've been doing it for years and years. When I first got this, I had already been doing rock counting stuff for a long time, and I learned things from this. So I think uh, almost everybody could benefit from this one. Maybe you wanna do lapidary work. Maybe you wanna cut rocks, polish rocks, do all of those fun shop things, especially in the wintertime. This book, right? Gem cutting. I'm gonna put links down below to these. Gem cutting is an awesome book, right? It's old, but lapidary really hasn't changed a whole lot. We're kind of the, we're kind of the same. It's like you want to learn how to cut a cabbage on. You want to learn these things, right? You want to learn about drilling. You want to learn about grinding, different machines. You name it, it's covered in this book. How about something for identification? Really, the internet is king. But I still love having some fun books to flip through on cold winter days, just like today. And uh, Minerals of the World is the book, this big one right here. Okay, let me show you why. Let me show you. So back there, those ones, those little tiny dinky stolen photos. No, what you want is you want something like this. You want a, like a textbook, right? All of your information and you want images of minerals that are uh, mid-tier. We don't want to look at museum grade stuff because guess what? You're not going to find any museum grade stuff. We want to look at things like, you want to look at opal? We want to look at opal like that, right? You want a full page. You don't want this like little dinky stolen image. Well, I just, you know, I'm not an expert in this stuff. Maybe I'm an expert in literature pertaining to rocks and minerals. That's about as far as I want to go as far as referring to myself as an expert. I mean, I just, I love this stuff. And it pains me to see these scammy books being pushed in all these different places, people recommending them. It is bad. Please do not buy those books. Buy cool stuff like this. You know, if I, if right now, right now, I, I, I step out of the, my, my shop here and uh, I found a, I found a thousand dollars. I would buy a thousand dollars of books and continue my education in the world of rocks and minerals. And sh certainly none of it would be going to those guys over there. Well, I hope you like this. Um, I'm going to drop links down below to a whole bunch of stuff. These books that are good, my list up on the website, all of that stuff. Anytime you see something that says Rock Hounding Bible, Rock Hounding Encyclopedia, 10 in 1, uh, a Beginner's Guide, any of that stuff, don't even consider it. I wouldn't, it, it, it's bad. You're going to feel bummed out. You're going to feel disappointed. And if you're giving it as a gift, you're just going to make that person reg regret it. So with that said, we will leave this one here. Thank you guys so much. And uh, watch yourself out there, all right? Y'all take care and I'll catch you in the next video.